What's going on everybody? I hope all of you are having a great day. It is the week of Fabtech 2019, which is in Chicago, Illinois, at McCormick Place. I would say this is the mecca of all Fabtechs. So every other year it always rotates to Chicago. And I'd say it's the biggest of all. This is where you see the biggest booths. This is where most companies come out with product launches, a majority of the product launches. But uh, when you go up the escalators, they have metal and fabrication on one side, and then they have metal processing and cutting on the other side. But it is packed full. So if you're coming in one day, hopefully you don't have to talk to a bunch of people because you won't see it all. You definitely want to spend a couple of days here and roam around. But uh, I'm going to bring my audience, you, with me so you can experience Fabtech or maybe you're gonna be there, but for the ones that aren't there, at least I can bring you there, show you what it's all about, maybe uh, show you some cool things on in the industry, also some Fronius people, and that's what I'm about to do right now. I gotta meet four Fronius people in Portage, Indiana, so we can shuttle to the hotel. So let's get moving. <laughs> Tech. All right, guys, where is the Fronius food? You guys know where it is? Somewhere that way. Oh, okay. I know where that is. You see it for us? Right over there. Right there. See it? Home base. On Eric, uh, working on the whole twin setup. Ooh, so right now we've already run a couple beads. We also have the torch cleaner here, so everything's looking pretty good. It's day one of Fabtech 2019, and I woke up this morning with snow, so it looks like we're gonna get a couple inches of snow here in Chicago. I got a weather winter advisory yesterday when I was driving in. Then in Michigan, we're gonna get four inches of snow today, so it's coming. It's definitely coming. And I got the Fronius getup. Looks pretty cool. Uh, reminds me of Patrick Swayze and Dirty Dancing. So I'm rocking it. Yeah! Today I'm going to bring you through the Fronius booth. I'm going to walk you to each bay so you can see what we have in the booth. And then uh, I don't know, we'll go from there. So come on with me. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. I will be back to welcome you guys later. <laughs> Look who decided to join the Fronius booth. Check it out. The Weld 2 family, South Coast Welding Academy. Oh, yeah. We're going to bring them over to the Fronius side, the welding machine. And we're going to show them how to run a trans pocket. Yeah. All right, a trans pocket. So they brought their TIG rig and everything. So we're going to go over here and show them how it works. type of stuff already on a daily basis so just going through um, becoming certified document you know documenting the settings that you're using and verifying the process that you're doing you get that piece of paper it can be the difference between whether you get the job or you don't it's another dollar an hour maybe or not so just trying to bring a little bit of awareness to the certification process
everybody, I'm with Stephanie from the AWS, and she's here at the Fronius booth. Uh, so what do you do for the AWS? I'm the program manager of workforce development uh, in the AWS Foundation. I travel the country 18 weeks a year with the careers and welding trailer, so watch out for us. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so I got a question for you. Why should somebody get in the welding industry? All right, uh, great opportunities out there. Um, it's kind of, the world is yours. You want to go into the structural side of stuff, the art side of stuff, education, I mean, manufacturing, aerospace, anything you want to do, you can probably find a way to relate it back. There's lots of money to be uh, made out there. Uh, you can travel the world, go anywhere. I'm traveling the world doing it. Um, well, at least the US. Yeah, but yeah. Tons and tons of opportunities. Oh. How can somebody find out where you're going to be with the, the tour? Uh, my Instagram, Underground Metal Works, uh, always posting the dates. Right now, we just wrapped up for 2019, going to start putting the schedule together for 2020. So, awesome, perfect. You heard it first. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. All right, we have the one and only Matt, and he's going to bust out some shaggy. Please, please, baby, please, let me take you to a little of sweet little breeze. You don't feel like driving, baby, hand me the keys. Now we'll take you to a place that's such a mind that these. Don't you take a map for them, baby, please. Don't you play with my nose, cause I'm a hot juice, please. Well, are you want the one that made the cheese? Oh. Seriously, Nate is non-stop. He will never, ever stop talking well. We're in here, we're doing all this. He's still in love. <laughs> Me and JT are here at Fabtech and we're going to walk around. What we're going to do is we're going to find as much Fronius machines as we possibly can in booths. But I'm going to call it an Easter egg hunt. Let's do it. And whoever finds the machine, they have to do an interview with a person and ask them how many questions. Well, let's say two. Two or three questions? Let's do two. Two questions. So the first question will be, uh, what, is, what should the first question be? What's the meaning of welding? Yeah, we could do what's the meaning of welding, or we could say what do they specialize in, or why should somebody get into welding. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go find them. Right. Here with John from Bowler, and we're going to ask you two questions. So, what does Bowler specialize in? Bowler's specializes in consumables, welding consumables. Okay. We manufacture and we sell through distribution. Nice. So where do you manufacture? We manufacture, we've got 15 plants all over the world. We've also got a, a facility here in Portage, Indiana. Oh, really nice. Making cord wires, stainless solid wires, S6 wire, mm -hmm. made in America. Okay. So next question would be, why should somebody get in the welding industry? You can work anywhere, you will always eat, you will make a good living. Welders right now are making 30 to $42 an hour, plus per diem, plus, plus, plus. Yeah. If you want to go into the sales end, there are sales jobs open all over the U.S. If you want to go into welding engineering, there are welding engineers that are needed all over the world. If you want to travel, you can do that. If you want to get a job in a shop in a town somewhere, that's available as well. So it's a very wide open field. Endless opportunity. Endless. Yeah. You, you, if you have a welding hood, you can work anywhere in the world you want. Always. Cool. Well, thanks for meeting with me. You bet. Appreciate it. We didn't find a Fronius booth, or <laughs> we didn't find a Fronius machine, but we found the next best thing, and this guy's Jake. And JT's gonna interview him because he has to. <laughs> Here we go. All right, JT, take it away. <laughs> what does hypertherm? <laughs> so hypertherm is actually um, specializes in providing cutting solutions in the welding and fabrication industry. So. There's a few different technologies that you can choose from from Hypertherm. We have water jet, 
we have a plasma cutting uh, handheld and mechanized, and then we also supply parts for the laser industry as well. For the upcoming youth in America, what would be the one biggest thing that you would tell them to get into the welding industry? Well, it's a, it's a challenging career and it's very technical. So, you know, there's a there's a big misconception that you're gonna start off in a welding booth and you're gonna be stuck there. And there's a lot of things you can do, you know, even even us that have you know, moved into more of the business side instead of the practical side, you know, we actually take time to, you know, do stuff like making a plasma art, for instance. So this is something where we use plasma gouging um, as well as some plasma cutting technologies as well. And, we have another sample over here that was done as well. That shows a little bit more of the cutting side, but it also has plasma gouging as well. So there's a lot more to it than just necessarily the industry. There's also the hobbyist side too. So it, it could be your, your hobby and turn into your passion and then, then it could be your career as well. Well, thank you very much for the insight. No problem, and that's for asking me the question. That's coming from the camera guy, the guy holding the camera. And make sure to follow this guy at Ross, J. Ross Welds. Boom. Hey, 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 are you Andrew from Baker's Gas Online? <laughs> Yeah, but I don't see the I don't see the splitter. We got man cub in the booth. Camera guy. Blackburn. Blackburn. Bob Moffitt. Bob Moffitt, great great nephew Brent. Great nephew Brent. This is the spot to be. another Fronius machine in the ABB booth and I found this guy Chris yeah and we're gonna ask him two questions so what does ABB specialize in ABB specializes in at this show for robotic applications in the metal fab anything from standard mid welding laser welding laser processing metal finishing is what we can do very well okay now, next question is why why should somebody get in the industry of robotics or, or robotic welding in general? To get into robotic welding, why they should is they'll have better quality and the people of welds appearance. Uh, most customers cannot find qualified welders, so by implementing robotics into their business, they will have more uptime and actually be able to do better competing with their competitors. Perfect. Yeah, I appreciate you letting me come in. No problem. Hey, appreciate the bonus equipment. Last but not least, the time is getting short, so we have maybe 10 minutes. We have like 10 minutes to get back to the booth to grab our stuff so we can go home. So I didn't bring the camera around with me because we're busy all the time. So we're at Production Products, Inc. And we have a Fronius machine on here. Look at that. It is a TPSI 270. And they have an automated torch. And you can see it's for welding uh, cylinders. So that's the last one we're doing for today, but we found it. Make sure you check them out because uh, you should. The Wiener Mobile, we found you. I know you. Okay, smile. I'm filming, so it doesn't matter. 